I don't think I would like that. I would have walked right past this. Now this one is amazing. I found this huge... Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about big money bolos. Items to be on the lookout for. Items you can buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. In this video, Facebook members, this is my Facebook group, shared their big money September bolos. And I'm going to tell you all of that information and Hopefully, when you're outsourcing, you can find these items. So the first item here, also the October post is up. It looks like this. You guys can go share a bolo, okay? And I'll feature it just like this, but look for this, look for this post. This one comes from She Picker. She is a Bolo Buddies member, and that means she has joined memberships for perks at level two or higher. If you want to know more about that, there's information down in the description. Just go to my link tree and there should be a uh like a thing you can click on down there. She said, this sweet, precious moments collectible is called the Pearl of a, no, the Pearl of Great Price, a very limited edition figurine designed by Sam Butcher. Remember Sam Butcher. If you see precious moments, Sam Butcher, look it up because I've heard that name before. She said, sold by the Pre Precious Moments Chapel. I found this at the Goodwill bins, paid about $2, listed it for $79.99 and accepted an offer of $50. This is what it looks like. And you can check She Picker out on Whatnot, eBay, YouTube, Poshmark, and Mercari. Hello, thanks for having us. We picked this up at a yard sale for $15. Sold in three days for full price of $375 plus international shipping of $126. Whoa. Great pickup. We will keep our eyes peeled in the future. What is it? It is a rare Nikko, Nikko, N-I-K-K-O, RC remote control, big Brutus monster truck. Whoa. Wow. Wow, wow. That's amazing. Now, this one is amazing. I found this huge target dog bullseye. It's a display at the Goodwill. Like, how does something like this even get at the Goodwill? $7. Listed it for $1,200 and took an offer of $1,000 in two days. <laughs> what? Oh, my goodness. This up at the local cat sanctuary thrift store and paid up for it at $25. The head is fragile and had some damage, but still sold in about three days. When researching sold comps, I noticed one seller didn't put the name of the ventriloquist doll in the title at all, but put generic title, creepy ventrilo ventriloquist doll, and got a higher price than the other sellers that limited the title to the doll's name only. I used creepy and, but added Halloween and the doll's name in the title. And it looks like it sold for $119, and this is what it looks like. And you can see her title right there. Got this scarf at my flea market, go-to guy, bought a bag of mixed items for $35. Also, the Santa Folk art was also from Tony at flea market cost of item about $5. This one comes from Vichy's Treasures on eBay, and this is what it looks like. So there's an Hermes authentic horse silk scarf that sold for $202.50. And the second thing is a... Folk Art Santa, and I can't read the title. It's very small, but it looks like this, and it sold for $103.96, so that is fantastic. I found this witchy velvet dress in the Goodwill Halloween section. They, let's see, where all the good vintage hides. It's the 70s label Betsy Johnson designed for. I paid $8.88 for this dress. I put it up for auction, starting bid of $155 or buy it now for $305. I did a three-day auction. I got several watchers, but no bids. And then someone bought it outright for $305. Wow. 90s Y2K Betsy is hot right now, but older Betsy is always hot. Keep an eye out. And I was thinking that she used a... Um, a stock photo, but I think she might be modeling the dress because I'm looking at her circle picture 
of like her profile picture for Facebook and it looks like it might be the same person. So she may model her own clothing. The tag to look out for, Alley Cat by Betsy Johnson. Ooh, she's got a picture of the tag for us. Fantastic. Thank you. Open box with three out of four saxophone reeds. The reeds are individually wrapped. Got at the Goodwill for 99 cents. Sold for a listing price of $22. And this one comes from Edge City Trader. This is her um, YouTube channel. And she is Edge City on eBay. So check that out right there. This one also comes from um, Edge City Trader. Signed art pottery plate, bought at the Goodwill for $2.99, sold in under a month for, for $43, including shipping. I pick up well-made signed studio art pottery plates when I find them. I, in my area, most store price plates are $1.50 to $4, regardless of whether they are mass-produced or studio pieces. Art, and art pottery plates sell faster for me than bowls and mugs, perhaps because there are fewer of them listed. It is a vintage art pottery plate signed Wheel Throne Studio Abstract Majelica Stoneware. I found this at a local yard sale for only 50 cents. Seller had written in black marker 50 cents across the bag, which came off easily later with hand sanitizer. Still an original bag, not I'm sorry, new, not opened. I had no idea this was a huge bolo until later when I got home looking up sold comps. Wow, was I thrilled to learn just how valuable this was selling for. Had it listed for a few weeks with several watchers and views. I decided to change up my description and title a little, added the word rare, and the next day it sold for $182.75. It is a rare sealed vintage Avon countdown to Christmas advent calendar. Yes, the Avon calendar is definitely a bolo. Bought at Salvation Army for a dollar, sold within three days for $55. It is a very rare Angry Beavers plush, 1998 Daggett Stuffed Toy Plush, 1998 Nickelodeon. This is what it looks like. And if you want to see more Nickelodeon bolos, I have a whole video on just that. Nickelodeon brand bolo items. It's a category video I did. So check that out. Purchased this at a private estate sale for 25 cents. Listed and sold within 24 hours for full price. I was sad actually when it's all because I think I would have really liked to have kept it. Of course, we can't keep everything. It is a MCM metal Christmas wall card photo holder, reef spiral wire, and it sold for $25. That one comes from Cat Feelin' Thrifty, and she is a Bolo Buddies member. She is also selling over on Whatnot and has a YouTube channel, so check her out. Um, if you're on Whatnot and you wanna learn how to use your iPad, and your phone at the same time to sell on whatnot, she has a video for that. I purchased three different sets of this ERTL, I think it's pronounced Ertl, brand farm toys at a local estate sale for 30 each. All parts store and plastic bags never played with, but I did inspect to make sure parts were there. They have all sold for about the same price plus shipping, $79.20, and this is what it looks like. That's also from Cat Feeling Thrifty. Okay, guys, are you ready? This one comes from Seems So Vintage, and that is her, her whatnot name. She, and if you guys are over on my whatnot, you see her all the time because she helps moderate my channel. She's pretty much always there for me and, and is just fantastic. So she had this bolo and I was so excited for her. She said, I picked up several needlepoint canvases on whatnot from Donatella, paid $2.75 for each canvas. This one was a kit, so I grouped the pieces together to sell it as a set. I averaged this one at $2.75 as well, since it counted as one listing. I had several lowball offers, but declined each because I knew the value. I sold this kit for $354.53, buyer all in on eBay. My profit was $276.18 after fees and cost of goods positive feedback received. It's called So Much Fun Needlepoint 3D Betsy Bird All Pieces Canvas Needlework. I would have walked right past this. So she bought this on Whatnot for $2.75 and sold this on eBay for, for $354 with a profit of $276. Crazy, right? 
amazing. And that is Seems So Vintage. I will link her down below. Um, definitely give her a follow on whatnot. She does a lot of crafts um, and different things like that. Fabric, if you're looking for that type of thing. And she's also going to be bringing jewelry to whatnot. So please give her a follow. She is fantastic. Here is another one from Cat Feel and Thrifty. Purchased a lot of jewelry from a local person. Many pieces. I have about 67 cents cost in this. I had it listed for 125, but took a best offer of 95. Definitely happy for the 95. And Courtney, as always, thank you for all you do for us. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, it's a vintage sign, crown trafari, brushed gold tone, thorny rose blossom brooch. And this is what it looks like. Half off day at the bins, so under a dollar. Pick this up as I haven't seen a Dairy Queen Christmas house before. Sold for my full asking price in three months of $64. It's a Dairy Queen village house, a Christmas village Dairy Queen. Never seen one either. In the last couple of months, I have sold 19 of these little electronic swearing machines. I don't think I would like that. <laughs> they are from 1990 and say four phrases that I can't repeat here. This is from Jody Toy Attic, by the way. Jody, what are you doing selling bad words on eBay? <laughs> You guys definitely check out Jody Toy Attic. She's a bolo finder with an awesome channel. So she said, I got them from an estate sale for $2 each. Actually, a friend picked them up for me because she didn't want to sell them. She took batteries for testing. And let's just say this little thing is loud. She was so embarrassed, embarrassed when it yelled out the words blank, blank. And everyone stopped to look at her. They've sold anywhere between 50 and 75 each. I took offers at first because I thought I would have them forever, but they flew out the door. Oh my goodness, she has sold 19 of them. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my goodness. This would be one of those where I'd be like, oh, I cannot sell this. Like I, because I don't, I don't swear, you know, so I probably wouldn't sell this item, but oh my goodness, 50 to $75 each times 19. Wow. What is your friend saying, Jody? What is your friend saying? That is so funny. I would have been like so embarrassed as well. That is, that's awesome. That's a great story. Garage sale, huge batch of 50 hats. So about 50 cents sold full price of 154.88. It is a vintage 19... 98 Kellogg's Tony the Tiger Frosted Flakes hat. That's a cool looking hat. I picked up this Hallmark Baby Blue Bunny Rabbit in a bag of plush at the Goodwill in Powell, Ohio, Columbus. There were seven items in the bag, so 77 per plush. The only solds I was able to find on this specific bunny was 150 and 175, and there were only two of them. I listed originally at 175 and did the automated discounting till my item reached my, four, my floor price of 125. Sold on Mercari to a first-time buyer for 125 plus shipping. It's a Hallmark Baby Blue Bunny Rabbit. Now, you're probably wondering, what is she talking about floor price? So on Mercari, I don't use this feature. Um, on Mercari, you have the option to put in a floor price, which is the lowest you will take. And Mercari will automatically keep reducing your listing until it hits the floor price. This is just a great way to reduce the price of your item without having to manually go in and do it yourself. So it is an option. Again, I don't use it. I don't really know why I don't use it, but I don't use it. So let me know if you guys use the floor price option down in the comments. Again, if you're not on Mercari, uh, you can get $10 to shop and another $20 when you sell $100 worth of stuff on Mercari with my referral link down below. I tell you guys all the time, Mercari is fantastic for plush. Toys do great there. Jewelry does good there. Uh, probably a lot of things that I don't sell do well there. If you sell on Mercari, tell me what your best selling items are on that platform. Put that down in the comments. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.